I just wanted to know that no matter how my kids were that day, that I could rest my head on the pillow at night and feel good about the way I parented that day. The greatest gift I gave them was me doing this work. Hi, Michelle. Hi. I wanted to do this interview with you because you and I have talked many times about becoming a parenting coach, your journey specifically to becoming a parenting coach. And I've always just felt really inspired after I talked to you, the way that you've talked about your experience with that just, I don't know, always leaves me feeling uh, a certain way about it. And so I thought it would be great to share that with anyone who's considering joining the program. Um, because one of the things that stands out for me is I know that you contemplated joining for some time before you decided to say yes. Yeah. And so I just wanted to ask you to begin with, what were some of the things that the stories you were telling yourself that were preventing you from, from making the move to, to what you felt drawn to do? Um, let's see. Great question. Um, you know, I, before having kids, I was in corporate America worked crazy hours. I always had a entrepreneurial spirit, but, um, you know, was a completely different person until I had kids. And, uh, the first few years of their lives, I was a stay at home mom and, um, just really wasn't sure, you know, I knew I couldn't, didn't want to go back to the life I had because I would never see my kids. And I also knew that if I were going to be away from them, that I wanted to do something that was really meaningful mm. and that would also model for them, you know, what it could look like to have, have it all, mm. to be with my kids, to be up to something myself and, um, and to do work that feels meaningful for me. Mm -hmm. So that was really the beginning of when I discovered Jai and wow, like this is really something that, you know, I could contribute to my household and feel like I was up to something that was mine. Um, and, you know, that was my own thing, my own passion project to work at. That's really where it started. Um, and I could be with my kids and it was something that would also help me in my own parenting mm -hmm. and marriage. Um, and, you know, I could create my own hours. So it kind of seemed like the perfect fit for me. Okay. And so it seemed like the perfect fit. And what were yes. the fears? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know yeah. why it's a great plan. And yeah, we contemplated for a while. So what, yeah. were, so, the fears? what were the the kind of, you know, things that were preventing you from, from really jumping in, even though it looked like such a good opportunity for you? Uh, well, it took me three years to commit. Hey. Um, I think the first, uh, it was a, it was, it was a mix of the financial investment. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I always, I'm just someone who like gets nervous with, you know, large purchases yeah. and I just, I wasn't sure, you know, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I wasn't really like about in front of the, um, c camera kind of gal. Like mm -hmm. I, I just wasn't sure would I be able to put myself out there. Yeah. Um, which, uh, you know, my perspective on that really shifted through the program too, mm -hmm. um, which we could talk about later, but yeah. Um, which really took the focus off of me mm -hmm. and put it on the people that I was serving. And that mm -hmm. really, that totally transformed my relationship to this work and being a coach and putting myself out there. It was a huge perspective shift that I got out of the program, mm -hmm. you know, which is, it's not about me, right. It's about, it's about sharing this work and, and supporting others. And through that, I also support myself, right in my own parenting practice. Um, and so it was the financial investment. Like I was just scared, you know, I have three kids. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, every time I make a purchase, I, I think I, there's so many factors that go into the equation. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'll just leave it there is like, yeah. you know, the, the finances and I just wasn't sure, um, you know, could I really make a living? Could I, you mm -hmm. know, market myself and put myself out there and how was I going to set myself apart from other parenting coaches out there or coaches out there and yeah so, so it was it was a lot of the unknowns um, mm -hmm. that kept me from taking the leap yeah um, you know I'm, I'm someone who kind of like likes to know mm -hmm. the destination first and um, it was just a leap in letting go of 
the destination and just trusting the journey and taking it step by step and first really wanting it for myself and my family first mm-hmm. before I, I knew that would come, that would come, yeah. uh, how, how it would be expressed in my communities, like what kind of work I would do. And so really that was one of the deciding factors for me when I actually finally did take the leap mm-hmm. is you don't have to know the whole picture. You don't, you don't have to know exactly how you're like, you know, what your niche is and all, all those things that I was worrying about before. Yeah. Um, and, and my own insecurities of just not being the perfect parent, like sure. scared, scared of being a fraud, scared of, you know, um, you know, I, I had just started reading about p- conscious parenting and mm. although it, it, it felt so at home for me when I started reading about it, uh, it felt so right. Mm-hmm. Um, I still had so many patterns of the you know, what we call the dominant parenting brand that I inherited. You know, I come from a strict Russian Jewish family. Um, obedience is big. Discipline is big, you know, um, corporal punishment and, and timeouts and all those things. It's, it's, although I knew, I told myself I would never do that with my kids mm-hmm. in time, in rough times, I would resort to things that made me feel terrible, you know, and I, so I knew I wanted better and I had just started to embark on this, um, paradigm, this paradigm shift in parenting. And I loved it. I just didn't know if I could really be a leader in this work, given how much I feel like I still had to learn. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. So what, what allowed you to finally say yes? Again, I think it really came down to all of the little things. I really wanted to do meaningful work. Mm. I knew, you know, in my past I had made money and I, and I, I always knew that that part for me was missing something that was meaningful, that was fulfilling and that made me proud of the work I do. So it was a mix of that. Plus it helped me in my own parenting. I was mm-hmm. like, Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to be doing this every day. How can I not fulfill all my goals as a parent mm-hmm. living this, breathing this, walking this path? Mm -hmm. Um, so that was great. And, uh, the flexibility of being able to take it as big or small, you know, first it was, um, just for me and my family. And then it was a couple clients here and there would be great or a group. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, if, if I did want to write books, if I did want to, um, you know, what, what, what they call like, but build an empire, right. It's, it's possible. It's really just take the information, do with it, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Um, So that was really, uh, I just, I stopped thinking about what I was going to do after. And I just allowed myself to walk through the transformation myself. Awesome. Um, And if I could add one thing, you know, Mm -hmm. what had me choose Jai versus the other programs that I had also researched Mm -hmm. is what I loved about Jai is that the work is fully parent centric. So, you know, what I wanted and what I was seeking is I just wanted to know that no matter how my kids were that day, Mm -hmm. that I could rest my head on the pillow at night and feel good about the way I parented that day. Mm -hmm. That was what I really wanted because Mm -hmm. I knew I I couldn't control them, but I could control me. And I knew in those days where I, I felt like I was winning that, that the winning was not in how successful I was in my tactics with them. Mm. Like, you know, my, my scripts, my, my tools, my tactics, it was like, wow, they, they were having meltdowns and I was anchored and solid. Like, wow. I, you know, I literally felt like I could wear a cape, you know? So, so, and what I loved about Jai was that it is fully parent centric. You as a parent walk through the transformation first Mm. So that you're not relying on those scripts and tools and tactics. Mm-hmm. You, you, you just embody the, the uh, distinctions of peaceful parenting first, mm-hmm. and then you model it. And that's how they learn, right? Our children. So although I, listen, I, I will resort to a, to, a, to a script or a tactic or an acronym, an acronym in my head or something when I need to, but it is it's the embodiment piece that I was really seeking that Jai gave. And so I think all of those pieces together really, you know, what I, I just said, you know, I'm worth it mm-hmm. and my kids are worth it. Yeah. And 
I'm, I'm just going to start there and I'm just going to first walk through the experience myself. And then of course, once I experience a transformation, you know, the moment that I could keep myself calm, cool, and collective when my kids were melting down and it was a long day and I experienced that transformation, of mm-hmm. course, I'm like, I want everybody to have this. Yeah. Yeah. That wants it, you know? So, yeah. um, that, that for me was everything. So yeah. it started with me. Mm-hmm. And so on that, I mean, just building on what you just said, like, what would you say either to your past self who was hesitating or to anyone who's considering um, joining Jai and taking this, the, the first step? Yes. Um, you know, I think there's no, you know, we spend so much money buying our kids stuff, classes and hobbies and toys and whatever, right? There's no amount of money in the world we would not spend for our children, Mm -hmm. whether we're a teacher or or for our clients, if we're therapists, right? There's uh, so much there. Um, And I feel that the greatest gift I gave them was me doing this work. Mm. So although we may not see it as, right, like, because when it comes to like, if my dad, my, if my daughter wants a dance class or my son wants, it's, there's no quite, I'm doing it right. Mm-hmm. If I can, mm-hmm. but you never really think about the gift that you're giving them investing in yourself mm-hmm. to be the best parent you can be to shape and mold these human beings. I mean, there is no greater gift for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so for me, uh, you know, what I would tell myself looking back is there is no more important investment in my parenting than me doing the work to shift, um, you know, patterns that I've inherited through generations that I, were un- simply unconscious to me. And they were like a blind spot. I didn't see them. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so doing the work, uh, modeling to doing the work for my kids, right. Uh, you know, now we have such great conversations, you know, uh, where, you know, my daughter who's six, Ava, she'll say, mom, I think, it, I think it's great. If maybe you could take a walk and just get some fresh air and I'll be right here ready to talk about it when you get back. And, you know, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. You know, it's so yeah. beautiful to see her have, uh, the capacity for these types of conversations at her age. Yeah. Oh. So Ava's a parenting coach too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah, when I when I'm when I'm having a moment, an imperfect moment. Yeah. She's like, hey mom, um, I think you may maybe you want to call somebody. I think <laughs> I think maybe um, someone can help you and talk you through this. And and it's okay. it's really great to see her mirror that back yeah. to me and yeah. and allow her to be my teacher in moments, you know, because mm-hmm. that is so much about who they yeah. are, is they mm-hmm. are my greatest teachers. They are our greatest teachers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, I just knew I could I I couldn't afford not to do it. Because if I kept going the way that I was going, it was just going to be more long-term pain, Mm. you know, for me, like I was struggling, everything that I thought parenting would be all the pictures and fantasies and all that. Mm. It wasn't exactly going that way. And I knew if I didn't invest in myself, um, um, that the, the trajectory, the likelihood of it getting any better, um, you know, would be unlikely. Mm -hmm. Um, and so putting myself in a community of like-minded people who were up to the same game I was up to, Mm -hmm. which is I'm going to do things differently, Mm -hmm. um, was such a nurturing space to be in, you know, just sharing our falls and, and also, you know, holding each other up in those moments where, um, you know, we really needed to lean on a community that, uh, you know, was on the same path we were on. And now there's hundreds of people in our community that are there um, at any moment and are so supportive um, because we're all walking this path together. That's awesome, Michelle. Thank you so much for sharing all of this with us. I'm sure it will help people who are contemplating making this decision and wondering what the, you know, what the outcome looks like. So at least for you anyway. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me.